the sumptuous ceremony of Westminster Abbey on a royal occasion. Since Westminster Abbey was first built on Thames side, there can hardly have been a more beautiful May wedding than this. Eight bridesmaids are here, led by Princess Anne, the niece of the bride. Here at the steps of the altar, the bridegroom awaits her. A young man, calm and dignified in the midst of this happy ordeal. The Duke of Edinburgh presents the bride to the bridegroom. The Dean of Westminster opens the marriage ceremony. to her as long as ye both shall live well margaret rose wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after god's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony wilt thou obey him and serve him love honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all other Keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? The Duke gives the bride away by placing her hand in that of the Archbishop, who in turn places her hand in that of the bridegroom. In thine eternal kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The ring of Welsh gold is laid on the book by the best man, and the bridegroom then places it on the bride's finger. Yes, me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. With my body I thee worship. With my body I thee worship. And with all my worldly goods I thee endow. And with all my worldly goods I thee endow. The couple receive the blessing of the Archbishop. the bride and groom move into the chapel of Edward the Confessor to sign the register with members of their families. Queen Elizabeth goes first with the Queen Mother. They are followed by the bridegroom's mother, the Countess of Ross, and his father, Mr. Ronald Armstrong Jones.
In this pause in the ceremony, we notice this as a Commonwealth occasion, for the minister's conference, happily, coincided with the wedding. They emerge now as man and wife. Mr. Armstrong Jones and Her Royal Highness, the Princess Margaret, Mrs. Armstrong Jones. This is their day. They lead the procession out of the Abbey toward a delighted, awaiting London. For a few moments, they are together and alone, young and comely. And now, London and the world awaits their first appearance as man and wife. 